See what's selling. Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Houston Texans. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion. As I'll hand it over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. 50 years after Joe Namath and the guarantee, we are underway in Super Bowl 53. Tyreek Hill on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Begin the drive. Here's a handoff to Hunt. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. They'll operate from the 32 yard line here, second and three. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. He is going to find Hill here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Mahomes to throw on second down. He's going to look deep down the field. And this is taken in at the five. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A gain of 39 that time. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end, and he was totally focused on the quarterback. He should have given it off inside to the running back. Instead, he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. On second down, here's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the six. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? And this is going to be incomplete. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, there defensively to make the play. So it looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away and brings up a fourth down decision. And Bunker able to put this one through. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. So a nice opening drive on the road. You get the three points. Part of you wonders if that might hurt them later not getting into the end zone. Well, the good thing is, still first quarter. 
and they did come out of it with points. In a sense, they can look at it positively and say, hey, we set the pace in this one. I think that's how they'll go about it. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Orchestrating the offense will be a man who, of course, won a national title back in his days at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. Might have won back-to-back -back Heisman trophies if the ballot had come after the national championship games that he and Clemson played against Alabama. But when you watch him on the field, you realize why coordinators and head coaches want to bend their offense to his talents because when he's got the ball in his hands, he can be magical at times. Now a first down throw, Watson. Griffin's got it, middle of the field. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right, got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Second down, here's Watson, escaping the pressure right. He finds an opening past the 40, and he'll take it to the 43-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense, and that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. On first down, it's Watson, and an alley to run! And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. Watson now to throw. And this will complete to Will Fuller. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And hey, you know, you guys didn't come out of the gate. I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem I, I to didn't want offer it. Mine. You, know, you, were, you were the <laughs> smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. From the red zone now, Watson. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. D Ford in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, and have them back on their heels. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on me. I know huh? you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I and like a that really one. good backhand. With some nice top spin on the little little bit. Bit. I love it. It's almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it's just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 40. To throw, it's Mahomes. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. 
And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 47. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. He was looking for Watkins that time. And you can't say enough about our man making the interception right there, Brandon. It's his 12th year in the league, and you told me before the game that he still got it, and he does. What a play that was to come away with the football. Back to throw, Watson, eluding the pressure right. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those touch. Bruce Ellington, 31 yards. And the Texans are in for six. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make so they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. And they're going deep. For oh, this is taken in. It's complete. 30. Pass the 20. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. De'Anthony Thomas taking it in. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And we are even at 10 apiece. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Here's Thompson to return it. Gets through and now an opening. The 40. He's at the 30. And how about that return as he's all the way inside the 20-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now it's Watson. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Bruce Ellington, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Texans have broken the tie. He's having a nice little first half here, partner. It's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. 
Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they're going to be set up in excellent field position up past the 45. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. They'll run it now out of the gun. And now running right through it. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A great play there. 49 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And a little time left on the clock. So on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am going ahead and tapping out the first half. Wow, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. On first down, Watson. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. One well, of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Now Watson. Allington has it, middle of the field. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pick up there, a 22. Talking about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. First and ten, Watson, and the Chiefs are going to get him. So it's halftime. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. The never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here comes the Texans now. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything in this opening round? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You're probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Watson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud 
for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. An outstanding pickup there for the Chiefs. 43 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. Mahomes going to throw. He gets it complete to Harris. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. In for the score. And thanks to the interception, the Chiefs offense cashes in with six. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Here's Thompson on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. Sort of a slow and steady game so far, but reliable for him here in this third quarter. Sounds like we're describing a possession receiver, right? The one that finds a way to make the... He rifles one that's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And now here comes Kansas City. Now, these guys hardly got a chance to catch their breath after the quick turnover, but I doubt they're complaining much. Especially with the field position they get to start with. I wouldn't be complaining either. I'd want to get right back out there and get after them because now you have an opportunity to make a big play. I'd say I'd let's be aggressive and go after it. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Here's Mahomes to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now a play fake here on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey from 19 yards away. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Butker now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Get the goal to bed some confidence. See what happens. And oh, he sheds a tip. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. But I think a Texan player was able to get his hands on it, and they will indeed hold on to the ball and the possession. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because 
This is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one's all well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Reggie Ragland in there to get him, and this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends, his time is run out. Back now here on EA Sports. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Allen Bailey in there to get him the sixth time. They've sacked him tonight. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur so they can't let that dream go just yet they have to get stout on defense here yeah right now really hoping for a turnover they'll run it now out of the gun and give him about three as he gets it down to the 22 yard line bottom line they want to keep this clock rolling so they'll take that one right there they just want to keep falling forward and they won't put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. They run again with Hunt. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. And the kick by Butker is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held him to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily... The coach saying, I believe in my offense. So, under pressure, they got him again. Allen Bailey in there to drop him the seventh time tonight. He's gone down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. To throw is Watson. Oh, he's able to out-muscle him here as he pulls it in. The 20. 10, touchdown, Houston. Braxton Miller, 75 yards. And the Texans get a bit closer. Gardner, one of the cardinal rules of defense is that if you're in position to make a tackle, you need to make it. Well, and if you can't make the tackle before that, you just got to knock that ball down, right? Yeah, something has to happen because we saw the end result there. Missed tackle, he goes all the way. It takes it for a touchdown. They go for just one here as it's up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. 
Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Mahomes again here on second and ten. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Andre Howe. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. that gets intercepted. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Time for a break. We're back to crown a champion after this. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Here's Watson, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Watson now to throw. Flushed it, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Watson, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off right around the 43, and to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Well, both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout, but this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. And out come the Chiefs now. Getting down to the end here, they have a two-score lead. Barely, but it's a two-score lead, so that probably makes you as a coach feel a lot more comfortable right now, doesn't it, Charles? It does, but it does. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Jadavian Clowney able to drop him for a loss of four. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the old line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. to throw Mahomes and intercepted maybe the turning point they need picked off inside the 10 and he'll wind up losing five yards or so on the return but no matter they've got the football back two score game here in the fourth and that pick it kind of keeps the door ajar doesn't it it does and you wonder about their strategy because with a two score lead you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock it's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. All the practice, all the training, all the meetings. In this situation, I know exactly what quarterbacks are taught. 
take care of the football. That's job one paramount, because you cough it up here, you might be giving up six points real easy. Tip of the cap to the defense, though, forcing the fumble. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. Yeah, he's got it. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Butker now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> this defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call a top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. Now a first down throw, Watson. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. On first down, it's Watson rolling to his right. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking there for Bruce Ellington, and that'll bring up second down. Got to be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here, trying to preserve. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And that will write a finish to this ball game. And the Kansas City Chiefs the Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi Trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports